France's political lines are being redrawn. And in a new political twist, France's former socialist president, François Hollande, has announced candidacy in the country's upcoming polls. Now, a new left-wing alliance has emerged after French President Emmanuel Macron dissolved the parliament following the far right's victory in European parliamentary elections and called for snap elections, snap legislative elections. Hollande was the president of France from 2012 to 2017. He left office with record levels of unpopularity. Hollande has pledged to lend support to the new popular front, a left-wing union of parties that have merged ahead of the polls. He will stand as an MP for the Southwestern for the New Popular Front, a left-wing grouping that includes the socialists, hard-left Greens and Communists. Je suis venu ici pour vous annoncer ma candidature pour la première circonscription de la Corrèze. Faire barrage à l'extrême droite et ouvrir un chemin d'espérance. Et c'est pourquoi j'ai soutenu le nouveau Front Populaire, au sens où il représente ce barrage et aussi cette capacité à travailler, même si nous connaissons les divergences qui ont pu à un moment s'installer. France's Popular Front is set to go head-to-head -head against Le Pen's national rally. In 2017, after Hollande's Socialist Party collapsed in the first round, the then-leader of En Marche, Emmanuel Macron, faced Marine Le Pen of the far-right Nationalist Party in the second round. And this year, France will hold the first round of election on the 30th of June and the second on the 7th of July. All right, to discuss this further, we're being joined by Anne Elizabeth Mutet, who's a columnist and for the London Telegraph and specializes in international affairs. Pleasure having you here on Away On Ma'am. And uh, of course, lots to discuss. I wanted to start off by asking you, how do you see the snap elections affecting the scenario in France for Macron and for the country on the whole? I think uh, President Macron has decided to uh, what is in effect the nuclear option. Uh, he has not only dissolved Parliament, which was not expected because the European uh, um, uh, vote was non sort of non vital to his government. It is a it is a pan European vote. It was unrelated. It didn't force him to hire different ministers or anything. But having done that, having decided that he wanted to blow everything up, uh, believing probably that he think he can get a, a better outcome at the end of it. He then decided that he would uh, wrong foot uh, both the left and the right by calling the shortest possible uh, constitutional time uh, for the election to be held. The election will be held in two weeks' time, the first round, and one week later, the second round. And uh, the, the parties, we are now Sunday. This is the last day in which can candidates can be fielded, which is why uh, former President Hollande uh, pre declared himself yesterday. And those parties had to find alliances and groupings in order to, to present uh, candidates in all 577 constituencies of the country. So we've got something which is almost like speed dating. I mean, it's, it's, it's much faster. And in this, in this in, increased speed, you've got people left and right who make mistakes. Uh, the um, National Rally uh, may have made mistakes, but certainly the uh, Republican Party decided that uh, or half of it decided that they would ally themselves to the national rally. For instance, this is not something that might have happened at all in a normal political time when you have time to think. And on the left, the um, uh, uh, the uh, France and Bode uh, hard left party, which is the main body of the um, of the left wing alliance by virtue of having more MPs, uh, more incumbents, is now taking positions which are far to the left of what the other leaders of the uh, of the left and notably the Socialist Party yes. have taken. The Socialist Party polled twice as many votes as them, but the agenda is being set by the hard left. Uh, and I just want to take it further from there, as you mentioned, the hard left. Do you feel the left wing parties can function together to defeat the far right, set aside all their differences with France, a former president, Hollande announcing his candidacy in the country's upcoming polls? How do you see this one coming about? Well, 
there are two different things. Can they win an election? It is not impossible. They are not the favourites, but it is not impossible. Uh, can they win an election together? Probably because there's this sort of state of complete sideration. People are flabbergasted. They don't know how to react to the current situation. And they are told the fascists are at your door. You've got to vote uh, left. Uh, can they rule together? I don't think they can. There have already been uh, sort of massive sort of complaints. Uh, the leader uh, of the of uh, France and Bode, the main party, the very hard left one, has already started purging five MPs, former MPs of his party, who he has uh, deselected to present more uh, sort of more revolutionary ones, uh, because they dared to disagree with him. So uh, if if they get into power. Uh, the possibilities for chaos will be interesting. I'm not saying that the others wouldn't have them. I'm just saying that I, I, I can't see them ruling together, but they will make a, they will try and they will make a hash of it to begin with. So it's not totally impossible, but of course it is going to be a difficult situation for them coming together. But again, as you said, not impossible. Of course, it's going to be very interesting what happens two weeks from now and then in the first week of July. Thank you so much for sharing all your insights. That was Anne Elizabeth Mutet joining us from Paris, who's a columnist for the London Telegraph. Happy to have you here on Beyond Now. Thank you.